Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 30 of Darwell20's FTB Skies Expert Let's Play Through. I'm uh, automating-ish my, my tier 3 crusher dude. Check it out. Uh, so I've got a dropper, and I've got a pressure plate, and I've got a cobblestone, and i got a timer from RF Tools, which is set to pause while redstone is active. Ah, how cool is that? So now he's gonna pick up the items that land on the pressure plate. The pressure plate, if his if his inventory doesn't match the items that he's trying to pick up, uh, he can't pick them up. So the items are gonna sit there and stop more items from dropping. But then eventually he'll finish processing all the stuff in his inventory, pick up the items, and more items will drop. Ha, <laughs> how cool is that? And I even threw a solenolia right here so that my magnet doesn't vacuum up all the stuff uh, as it drops. Is that cool? I kind of like that little set. It's very compact. And it does a very nice little job of, uh, of doing what I want it to do. Um, so that's cool. The only thing I need to do, um, what I do have to do um, is add gold to the whitelist. There we go. Cool. And I can out of that thing because it's a trap. So that's pretty neat. Hey, between episodes, I cooked my eternal steak. People kept saying you can cook that thing. I didn't realize it. Um, so the only thing you have to do is make sure to add to the whitelist because, so I had to upgrade this to an advanced item collector because I don't want the collector picking up the raw. I need it kicking, well, let's adjust the dust, right? So that's, that's one little detail that you want to pay attention to. Um, between episodes, I was looking at a few things. I wouldn't mind getting the tier two, uh, storage from occultism so I can be like a little bit less worried about stuff so all I need is some silver which by the way I think I can make silver now if I'm not mistaken um, it's not that way it's not that way it's there's a machine something something with stuff I don't know exactly how it works but so you can sift it from the springling infused mesh but it looks like you can super cool some quicksilver and some mana powder, which is standard, you know, stuff. Um, and quicksilver, which we get from mineral resin and cinnabar. So it looks like a really tiny bit of mineral resin and like a lot of quicksilver comes out of that. So that's kind of cool. And that's a thermal pneumatic processing system. Um, and you need to super cool using the super cooler from FTB Skyblocks Editions. Uh, so it looks like they took the solidification chamber and turned it into the super cooler. So you can either make it the same way you used to be able to make the solidification chamber, or you can take your existing solidification chamber and turn it into the super cooler. Um, so I think that's them getting away from uh, the cyclic blocks, which can be a little bit convoluted sometimes. Um, so I was thinking about that. So that might be that might be a thing we do. Uh, and in terms of getting diamonds, technically I can get diamonds now. And I can do so using blocks of coke. So if I get a block of coal coke, I can make a diamond. Um, that's not a great way to get diamonds, but it's possible. Like, it's a way to get diamonds. It's not a great way to get diamonds, but it's a way to get diamonds. Um, another thing that they uh, changed up in the pack, uh, which I'll show you guys now, is they actually got rid of these. Uh, these are no longer craftable. They no longer have a recipe. However, instead, you can get diesel generators, again, from custom machinery. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's a mod that allows you to, like, customize things. So these, you should recognize the recipe, right? Pretty much the same diesel engine that we've been getting. So these things have been a little bit wonky, too. Like, you notice last episode, they kept popping off. Uh, they don't respond to the redstone signal correctly and all that other stuff. So now, um, what I can do is convert these, boop, boop, and boop, boop. And these should, I hope, work correctly. Okay. Why are you overstressed, though? I did add a... Oh, my goodness. So you're not producing enough enough rotation now? Is it because you know... Oh, you may not share your... You, yeah, you don't. Is that what happens? Are you not sharing your... Fluids? Let me see. I'm guessing you don't share your fluids and that might be your problem. There we go. Now we have enough. Okay. Actually, you seem like you're producing more stress units than these engines were. So I think the other engines were definitely wonky. Um, so now what should happen is I should be able to apply a redstone signal to these guys.
So that works, but the other two are still running. So we're gonna need to... So the only, the only downside with these guys is they don't like share too well. But what I can do is something like that, right? And then what I can do, um, we will probably just want to pipe it. How much do you store? Four buckets worth? Now there's two uh, things, right? Um, so that output 96 RPM, stress capacity time 32X. Okay, cool. So that's force infused biodiesel. Stress capacity 22x for biodiesel. Okay. Neat. So it looks like uh, biodiesel, so if we went force infused, that would be even better fuel, right? Um, force infused diesel would be 42x. You can also add liquid oxygen here eventually, and that will give you even more stress capacity. So that's a cool upgrade. Um, so once we get to liquid oxygen mode, right, that, that could be pretty cool. That's just gonna require some mechanism and some water, right? That's easy to get once we once we get into the mechanism realm. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So the only thing to note then would be, uh, so like on one hand, we can easily do that, which is neato. Uh, the other thing we're gonna have to do though is probably some kind of basic mechanical pipe. Um, And what we'll probably need to do then would be let's let's clear this side of it out. Okay, and then we could have um, if we wanted to, we could just have this dude sitting here. And all it means is there's a slightly like bigger buffer. But remember, the main reason I was like limiting the amount of fluid that went in there was because of the shenanigans with not being able to redstone it, right? So now I can take you, I can fill you back up. Zoop. And you're gonna produce more biodiesel. And if I need to, I can always speed upgrade that thing, but I don't think I need to yet, right? And then zoop, and that's pretty cool. Let's make sure that we have this like fully taken care of, right? Cause I wanna, I kinda don't want this thing sitting idle unless I have to. No, 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 you were supposed to do that. Yes, that's much better. So I want that thing running as much as possible. And that's pretty cool, right? Like that, like that a lot. And then you can do the thing. And you've got lots of rotational energy now. I feel like this is more, either this is more capacity than the previous engines were or the previous engines were being buggy. I'm leaning towards the latter of those two options. So, uh, hey, how cool is this, right? And and you'll notice I like completely like tidied up a whole bunch of stuff, right? You can turn this on. You can stop this side over here if you want. Um, this guy has a stop button if he needs it, right? And I'm hoping you're running the right direction. Yeah, this is actually an important question. Is this running the correct direction? It is, and that's awesome. Cool. Um, and then you're gonna work correctly. Nice. How great is that, huh? Super great, that's what I'm gonna say. It's super great. And you're at 4.4 bars of pressure, so why are you misbehaving? Probably because you got gum, gummed up again. But let's just hope that you're good too. You seem cool. We'll see if this keeps breaking like this. I don't know what the deal is with this whole like, I'm being weird and breaking thing, but hopefully it'll happen less now with the new diesel generators. So those are the updates that happened because uh, as of today, and this is gonna tell you how far back Dyer's backlog is, uh, as of today, the pack is now publicly available. So if you didn't know that already, it is now publicly available and you can go uh, get in on that. Cool. One thing I might do is just that, just to prevent um, any, any folly type dudes. Or what I could do is a slab. I think a slab would also block it. We'll see. If it doesn't, then... Get back here, you. Come here. Thank you. Sneaky goats. All right. So, hey, we've got, uh, we've got some pretty good automation happening now. So let's look into what's next, right? Because at this point, I'm really happy with all our create automation. Our pneumatocraft automation is looking really solid. Everything is good. So like it's time to progress. That's what I would say. So let's look at what we should be aiming for next. 
Um, I would like that upgraded occultism thing. Um, if I added that tier two here, would that be a terrible idea? I don't think so. Let's work towards the block of silver. Is that cool? I think we should do that. Because because another thing we want to... I think this is like a big a big deal for us coming up. The circuit backplane. Um, that's that's going to do some stuff. Because logic circuits are going to unlock like a whole bunch of things, I feel like. Um, and then deeper into that tree. So there's that. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of things that we could get into. 4X field projectors is a thing that looks like miniaturization crafting. Oh, that's how we get... Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, neat. So this is how we're going to get our rocket, I assume. Yeah. Um, and this is also how we can get a runic altar. Looks like, uh, looks like quite a complex block of mana diamond. Oh my goodness. That seems like it's probably a ways off, right? That's a lot of diamond. I feel like that's going to come after the dash, like, so that I can sieve diamonds. Because there's no way I'm supposed to get that many diamonds, you know, by hand, uh, with coal coke. Like, that would just be bananas. And there's a lot of cool stuff in miniaturization crafting. Check this all out. It's all it's all the uh, it's all the rocket stuff, but still pretty cool. Combat machine walls, nice. Okay, so that's a thing that we can work towards eventually. Um, the different fibers and mana weave cloth, um, protective fabric, and then this leads to the spacesuit that we're gonna need. Uh, source condenser and liquefied source. That's 100% a thing we're probably going to be interested in. And that's going to lead to fuel buckets for rocketry. Um, and then the induction smelter is how we get uh, electromagnets. So that's another one on our to-do list. Cool. Let's start with this down here. Because this, I think, is how we get silver. So molten silver is probably something that we should look at doing, right? Um, oh my. That's, is that the wrong molten silver? That can't be right. Using the magma crystal layer to smelt some silver ingots. The molten silver is needed to create. Oh, okay. So that is the correct way to do it. Okay. So I think before we can do that, though, we're going to need to get, um, like, this process. Here we go. Raw silver. That's what we're talking about, right? So that's what we need to do. So we can either sieve in spring lane, which we don't have access to yet, because remember, that requires the moon, right? Deshed is from the moon. Um, or we can do this process, which is super cooling the quicksilver and mana powder. Uh, and quicksilver comes from mineral resin. And only 10 millibuckets worth, which is going to be a thing, I think. But we'll figure it out. And cinnabar, which I'm pretty sure we have some cinnabar, right? Yes. Cool. Okay. So we've got plenty of cinnabar. And mineral resin, I think, is pretty easy to get. Because all we need for a mineral sapling is a regular sapling and mana infuse it. So we can get mineral easy peasy. Do we already have some by chance? No, okay. So let's get that and some bone meal and get ready to rock. So all we need to do is pop over to here, mana pool our way into a mineral sapling, and that was easy, right? Uh, maybe I should get an extra one just for good measure. Cause they do rare, they do occasionally like not drop a new tree type deal. Um, and then we can just plant some somewhere. Doesn't matter where. There we go. And axify it. Um, now why haven't I been using this one on breaking and efficiency? I guess I could. I guess I could. Nice. Definitely appreciate having the magnet nowadays, by the way. Beautiful. Okay, so that's like a bunch of mineral stuff, right? Uh, we can put the mineralized chunks and berries away. Though I might want to eat some when I get a chance, just for the extra hearts, you know. All right, now with this done, um, do we think we could, like, get the mechanical squeezer by chance? Is that a thing that we could, like, add to our to-do list? So a mechanical squeezer needs logic circuits. See? Ah. So no, not yet. All right. Um, do we have a drying basin? Did we ever get one of those? I don't know that we've ever needed one. So let's get one. Okay. So then it's going to be the old stomping on the wood thing. 
and that will get your mineral resin, which will cool down into the thing if we want to dry it. Now, in this case, I'm thinking we don't want to dry it, right? Because we want the liquid resin. Now, I wonder how I'm going to be able to get such a small amount in there without... Too... Well, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, I have an idea. Let's do this. You ready? So, tank... Let's get one, two of these, okay? We'll remove you for now. We'll do that. And we'll just get such a small amount because we don't need a ton of this stuff. Two buckets should be like more than enough for a very long time. So you, sir, do not have a dispenser upgrade, right? But we could get you one. Okay, and let's have you dispense to the top of the block. So if I do this, eject to up, okay? So I'm gonna pop this guy here. We're gonna put um, a bucket's worth of resin in there. You can go away for a sec, as can you and you, and you, and you. And that's probably good for now. Perfect. Uh, and then we want Cinnabar. Okay. Now that needs to be hot. Is that right? Is that what we need? Quicksilver? Yeah, it needs to be very hot. But don't worry, we have this guy who can help with heat. Hopefully he doesn't need like... I don't think he does though. I don't know what temperature he's gonna get to. Required temperature is quite hot actually. Um, what does that temperature get to? Pretty good actually, yes. The only thing is you might want some poorly insulated, right? So if I do that and that, does that insulate you better? Yeah, it's gonna let you build up more temperature, which is nice. So you, okay. Yeah, so the, 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 the insulation. Can we get some insulation going on? Thermal lagging. A thin layer of insulation materials can be applied to the surface of heat using machines to prevent heat loss in the air. It does not interact with the block behind it unless you are holding any wrench or pegaxe or sneaking. Okay, so if I did that, we just need more glass. So he should be making my stuff now. Beautiful. Look at it go, it's so good. I love this engine stuff. I love it, I do, because they're really good. It's a really nice upgrade once you, once you get automated biodiesel it's really nice but this should be cooking now right oh yeah look at all the quicksilver and then i put that in there and that goes into here and now we have quicksilver and that's cool thank you and thank you See, doesn't that look way better? I think so. I think so. And like, we still have like no heat problems, right? Now you just need to be kept fed. Not a big deal. Nice. All right, I'll come, well, let's see. I can now take this, right, which is Quicksilver, and we can use it um, in the super cooler with mana powder, which is Basically gunpowder or redstone or glowstone or basically any dye for that matter. Um, I could like, I could use lapis because we have a lot of it. Does that sound cool? I think so. We'll start with eight and we'll go from there. Because how much is it for the raw silver? One mana powder equals one raw silver with a bucket. So it's like a whole bucket of this stuff. Oh my goodness, with all the... I don't know why I'm guessing it's that it's that thing is like really large area of effect and it's affecting these guys area but I don't know every time I walk by this area I'm picking up fish it's a little hilarious oh good I can eat now 
Okay. So then over here, we're going to try out replacing you with the new super cooler. Sweet. Quest completed super cooler. So that gets in there, and that gets in there, and you're going to super cool. Hey, welcome to chapter two. Quest completed. And that's how we get raw silver. Nice. Cool. Are there any, like, actual quest rewards? Remember, I just updated the pack to, like, the new, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit weird for a minute. You're actually doing a really nice job. So, like, the cool thing about this is you can access the block quest, so that's cool, right? Um, and also, it retains the heat really well, so that's neat, too, right? That is cool. Okay. And then if I wanted some speed upgrades, because I'm, you know, a bum like that, uh, I just need some more Invar. Let's do this many. And then we can come over here. And this might be pretty fast these days. Much better, right? Remember how slow that used to be? My goodness, look at all these quests I'm completing. <laughs> hey, you make one little thing. Well, I guess that's what I'm getting is two speed upgrades for now. Do you not accept speed upgrades through a pneumatic processing plant? Uh, apparently not. Okay, today I learned. I assumed that would... I thought all machines took speed upgrades. I guess not. Okay, cool. All right. So now we've got a bunch of Quicksilver going on here. I'm going to feed you one more of these. And then when you've got five, which should be like now-ish, I can bring you over here and get more silver, right? Do I ever need this primitive slurry again? I'm going to assume no. Cool. Look at that go. Yay, super cooler. I like super cooler. Super in quotes. And then, because this is raw silver, it can be processed by a crusher. Look at all the quests still completing. So did you finish? No, you just got stuckish. So the one troublesome thing is sometimes it, he, he seems to like occasionally move away from the spot and I can't get him to stay where he needs to be because I can't place a block here because his, his, his entity is too large, right? Can I do this? There we go. Cool. And let's make sure that you whitelist silver dust now. So now I got 24 silver dust from all that. So again, the, the key is having a really nice, um, yeah. Maybe I can just push him a little bit more into the corner. Is there any chance? No, not really. That's as far back as I can push him, and I can't get any blocks here to keep him there. All right, that's fair. Home. And now we've got silver. Oh. It's still going. It's still going. <laughs> I love it. All right, so uh, that's how you get silver, okay? And now that we've got silver, uh, we can get... Um, so I don't know why that's a grayed out thing. What dependency? Integrated magic? Oh, something weird here. The mana pool and spreader is 0% done. Pure daisy, a petal apothecary, sky of beginnings, flower power. Flower power is weird. I might have to like go into admin uh, mode to fix that. 
let's do that. Um, because we're near the end of the episode anyway, so I can allow cheats on. I don't know exactly how FTB Quest's admin mode is, but I think I have to do this and this. Edit file. I should probably do a backup before I do this. I don't want to like break. I don't know this mod too well about how to like force completion of things, but I need to like this quest changed at some point, um, and I think it it messed me up that it changed settings. So if I if I click on this, look at it properties. So like you can see, it's a hundred percent done, right? Like all it is is getting any flower. Mystical flowers I've also done. So why are you like gray? Petal apothecary I've gotten, right? And your dependency is just sky of beginning. Okay. So let's see what happens if I pick up my petal apothecary now. Are you going to be like, yeah, we're cool and friends now or what? See, that fish just popped out of the water, didn't he? All right, I'm going to wait for everything to settle down quest-wise. I might need to manually complete some of these quests, but I don't know. Uh, the other thing I guess I could do would be to reset progress. Reset progress. Reset progress on all of these, right? That might be another way to solve this problem. So now if I get a dandelion, does that mark that complete? Okay, that's better, I think. Yeah, and now this is opening up and I can complete and that's cool. So I think that's what I wanna do, right? And then, uh, just any mystical flower, which should be cool now, good. And then you. Why didn't that magnet? Oh. Cool. Now things are behaving themselves. Uh, Kekamurus. Oh, now what did I get quest-wise here? Floating white flower. Neat. And overgrowth seeds, which are nice, they're cool. And then pure daisy. Well, that got me a floating pure daisy, which is neat. Wand of the forest, I have one of them, don't I? Didn't I make a wand? Yes. Cool. We're fixing all the things today, folks. Mana pool? Oh, that's going to be annoying. Uh, can I make a new mana pool? Oh, that's right. That was like a long... Here's what I'm going to do. You ready? That. Just because we did, we did do that, obviously. I just don't want to have to break the pool and lose all the mana in it. Right? Um, and then mana spreader... That one I guess I could have broken without a big deal, but look, I'm deleting it already. So like, I didn't really cheat it. I'm just fixing the quest brokenness. And then men roll. Sweet. Okay, and then runic altar and alchemy catalyst are next. So that should fix all my issues. So if we go back to, oh, hello. Yeah, steel mesh. Oh, I get source berry and blacker lotus. Nice. And then now raw silver is complete and silvering it as a quest reward. That's cool. Now in terms of over here, I think this quest was also being wonky. So I'm going to do the same thing to it. I'm just going to reset progress. Yes. 
and then just grab some mycelium spores. Man, look at all the quests still like cleaning themselves up up there. It's wild. Are we almost done quest lines? Kiln block I've gotten before, right? I see you, quantum goat. And I end you. Uh, where is my hammer from you? Because I'm going to need you in a sec. There we go. And that completes you, and that completes you. Sweet and sweet. Pretty cool, right? Alright, so quests are all kind of cleaning up now. Um, everything look better? I think so. I think it does. we got to be nearing the end of like what's happening up here, I assume, right? And hopefully that is... Is that, like, all of Chapter 1 done? See, yeah, Chapter 1 still doesn't show being complete, completely complete. So I feel like I'm missing something in here. Here we go. Um, compacted dirt or cobble. Yeah, okay, I'll wrap it. Well, I didn't mean to cheat that in. But that's easy enough to get that I don't think we're going to, like, lose sleep over that, right? That wasn't a big deal. Now are we cool? Now we're cool. Green. All done. Complete. Man, we are like going nuts up here with this whole thing. Alright, I think it's wrapping up point. So, because I've seen Welcome to Chapter 2 like four times now. So, Double 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, eventually that will stop happening up there, I hope. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but for now, uh, we'll wrap up here. We've got silver. Uh, we have a lot of updates to the whole infrastructure of the whole area, which is cool. And when we come back next episode, let's start heading towards these things, like in this general area. But then also, because this number is getting very close to full, I'm going to start working on um, this. So this shouldn't be too bad because it's just Spirit of Tune Gems, a Tier 1 Dimensional Storage, which, by the way, is, is more expensive now. It requires mana-infused copper, um, and it requires quartz gears. Uh, and a Spirit of Tune gem. So uh, I think the Tier 1 Dimensional Storage Stabilizer that I got, they were like, mm, let's make that a little bit more pricey. So they did. So next episode we'll get Tier 2 Storage. I'll, I'll make a new Tier 1 and upgrade it to Tier 2. Um, and then can I do Tier 3 at this point? No, that needs Springling. Um, so that, ooh, and another Star too. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. But this we can definitely get. Um, and the Spirit of Tune gems are just diamonds, which we already said we can get with coal blocks. But we already have a couple diamonds from killing the goat. So... For now, don't twice sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, I really feel like we're like getting to some cool stuff these days, so I'm excited. Uh, so hope you guys are too. All right, for now, you know what to do. Take it easy.